inflate a balloon leaving a 10 inch flat tail. Use scissors to trim the nut of the balloon. You have to cut the nut very close to the bubble. Actually we are going to use just a piece of this balloon to make virtually indestructible bubble. This is the first soft up to one inch bubble. I would rather make it really very soft. As you may see I made very soft bubble. You can squeeze it and it doesn't pop. What we are going to make is uh, about the same as uh, to make the tulip twist. We have to force the first soft bubble inside of the balloon. Hold the bubble inside of the balloon. You can see the bubble is inside of the balloon. Let me show you again how it's done. Uh, we force the first soft bubble inside of the balloon and once the bubble is inside of the balloon uh, we hold it from outside. Don't force uh, the first bubble too far inside of the balloon. Squeeze the balloon to make it soft. At the same time hold the first bubble inside of the balloon. Make sure the first bubble is uh, totally covered by the walls of the balloon. Now we are going to use scissors to cut off uh, the rest of the balloon. We have made the indestructible bubble. Uh, well, of course, most children have the ability to destroy anything you give them. It's just a matter of time for them. Nevertheless, this bubble may withstand quite a long time against bare fingers. Inflate a clear balloon leaving a 7 inch flat tail. We are going to make a rattle. First we have to make a number of different colors uh, 1 inch bubbles. Then we will stuff the 1 inch bubbles inside of the clear balloon. Use scissors to trim off the nut of the balloon. Cut the nut very close to the bubble. For the rattle we can use uh, indestructible uh, bubbles, we can make regular one inch bubbles, it's all totally up to you. You even can use the same balloon to make bubbles for the rattle. Uh, just watch me. Twist the first soft up to one inch bubble. For the first bubble inside of the balloon we are making the tulip twist have to put the first bubble about one inch inside of the balloon. Once you hold the first bubble inside of the balloon with uh, the other hand, you can pull your finger out of the balloon. Make sure the first bubble is about one inch inside of the balloon. Twist the second up to one inch bubble. We have made the tulip twist. We are going to cut off the second bubble, so its size uh, actually doesn't matter. Hold the balloon tightly between the first and the second bubbles and cut off the second bubble. Now we proceed very gently. Remember we already cut off the first bubble from the balloon. Now we just have to drop uh, the first bubble inside of the balloon. At the same time we keep the air inside of the balloon. Try not to deflate the balloon too much. Tie off the end of the balloon. So now we have uh, one bubble inside of the balloon. And uh, we can uh, place a couple more bubbles inside of the same balloon. Trim nicely the nut of the balloon. Now I am going to make uh, the second bubble. It will be indestructible bubble and uh, I will use a blue balloon to make it. Twist the first a soft up to one inch bubble. Force the first soft uh, blue bubble inside of the blue balloon. Cut off uh, the rest of the blue balloon. Here we made an uh, indestructible bubble. Now we are going to force this uh, one inch blue bubble uh, inside of the same clear balloon.
of the blue bubble about one inch inside of the clear balloon. With a clear bubble to finish the tulip twist. It is harder to make a tulip twist with a soft balloon. You can help yourself uh, by applying pressure on the other end of the balloon. Once you twisted uh, the clear bubble, you have to cut it off. Uh, you can do it with scissors or just with your fingers. Now again, uh, the tricky part. We have to grab the blue bubble inside of the clear balloon. Tie off the end of the clear balloon. Alright, before you tie the balloon, you may want to inflate it again. Pump the balloon to the desirable size. I want to add uh, one or two more bubbles inside of the balloon, so I will leave a uh, 4 inch flat tail. Tie off the nut. Use scissors to cut the nut very close to the balloon. I'm going to use a scrap of uh, orange balloon for the third bug. Trim off the nut of the orange balloon. Twist the first soft uh, one inch orange bubble. Cut off the rest of the orange balloon and tie off the nut. Now we have to use scissors to trim this the orange bubble. Here is our orange bubble. It is the third bubble that we're going to force inside of the same clear balloon. Let's force this orange one inch bubble inside of the clear balloon. Hold the orange bubble uh, about one inch inside of the clear balloon. Pull your finger out of the balloon. Now we have to twist the clear bubble to finish the tulip twist. Use scissors to cut off the clear bubble. Now we just grab the orange bubble inside of the clear balloon. There is still enough uh, room to put a couple more bubbles inside of the clear balloon. I think you already have the idea how to make it. I will just inflate the clear balloon a bit more to make it firm and uh, tie off the end of the clear balloon. Congratulations, we have made the rattle. Surprisingly, uh, this noisy toy is more popular among adults than kids. It is fun toy by itself. We can bend it in different uh, shapes. We can attach it to a clown sculpture, so it would appear like a clown in some jacket. Let's shape it in a letter S. So we made uh, the rattle and the indestructible bubble. Before I give the indestructible bubble to a child, I usually say something like, and now you can bust any bubble. Do you think this big man is strong enough to bust this little bubble with just two fingers? Then I give the bubble to the kid father. It's fun to watch the father struggling with bubble. Have fun and happy twisting.